us right now in the studio, we've got Thad Green. Hey, good morning to you, Thad. It is the morning. Okay, we're, uh, we're, what time is it? It's morning. What time do musicians usually get up? Well, I'm an old musician, so I get up. I don't, my, my son has to be at school. Um, we have to leave the house by 7.30. So. Right. When I'm at home, yeah, I'm up by uh, probably 6.30 every day. And then on the road, um, it depends on how long I'm on the road. If I'm on the road for like two weeks, then I switch, shift back to... You know, not worrying about the kids and anything mm -hmm. in the morning. So I, I sleep till probably nine o'clock most days. But um, you know, I'm not on the road as much as I used to. I mean, what, what, what's your favorite time of year? Do you like the fall? Do you like the summer? Fall is is a wonderful time, just because you know it's starting to get cool again. And after you know, after the, the, the summer in Texas is so oppressive, and um, you know, it's you know, uh, anywhere um, where it gets a hundred degrees. Is that, you know, when it gets back down to the 60s, it just feels like football. And there, that's exactly why yeah. I brought up the time of the year, because of football, and you were a big... Well, you went to, you went to college at Texas yeah. Tech. Yeah, best decade of my life, hey. <laughs> Texas Tech. Yeah, why was that the best decade of your life? Well, I just took forever. I, I, uh, I actually graduated in five years, but I took like two years off in the middle to do the music. And, right. Um, and then I was like, no, I'm not going to graduate. I'm just going to keep playing the music and, and see where it goes And my... You know, my mom pitched a conniption fit, and I graduated. <laughs> what, what's your degree in? Uh, yes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a gray area. Electives? Um, no, I started out in engineering physics and then went to biochemistry, and um, uh, architecture was actually a major of mine for a year and a half, and then graduated with a degree in English. See, nobody would, have, would have know that. Yeah. I was big. I was much more into math and into uh, you know, problem solving when I was in high school. But as soon as I found the guitar, man, it just you know it, yeah. my whole life just gravitated that way. And uh, um, I still, I mean, I tried. I, I tried to stick it out and, and go for the, you know, so you know, I, was, I wanted to be an engineer of some kind, build stuff and um, bridges and dams and all that. But. Uh, <laughs> wow. The bar room took over. <laughs> Actually, I don't think, I mean, you never knew that I went to Tech for two years, did you? I had no idea. I went to Tech for two you. years, and I transferred down to Austin, Texas, and finished up at UT just because of a girl. I was dating a girl, and she was, yeah. hey, you know, good excuse. That's how I ended up in Austin, too. I <laughs> followed my, uh, well, she's my wife now, but um, followed her down here. She was going to go to law school, and she was working at the Capitol. And, um, so, yeah, I was well, that's what you do. I saw guys end up where they end up. That's exactly <laughs> true. Hey, uh, where are you going to end up musically this year? Are you uh, you, you kind of drop some hints? You guys are going to do a live CD. Yeah, I definitely want to get that done before the, before Christmas this year. Um, you know, just in time for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the shopping boom. Uh, no, I left I left BNA. We parted on great terms. I felt like it was just time for a relationship to uh, you know go by the wayside, and so um, you know, I'm, I'm unfettered. I'm, I'm without a home, so uh, you know it's really a, a great feeling, and I'm going to take up, you know, take that opportunity while it's around to uh, to put some music out that I've been wanting to do. So um, you know, I don't really have any solid plans as far as where we're going to do it and when it's going to be released, but I know it's coming. Do you know where you're going to record it? No, haven't. You know, I haven't really decided if I, I want it to be an interview slash um, you know, do, you know, live concert kind of thing where you know we can crawl around and be a little bit more free about, you know, where I've been for the last eight mm -hmm. to ten years and, you know, why I've been making the decisions I've made. And, and I just kind of want to get my, I want to be heard. Wow. Oh, be <laughs> I want my feelings to be expressed. <laughs> <laughs> did you feel that you didn't have that with the Nashville? Um, you know, I never left Texas, and I, I've always been such a very independent person, um, both in life and in business. But, um, no, I, I never felt like, um, I, I never felt like they were telling me what to do or anything like that. Um, but I did feel at, at certain points in there where, you know, like, man, I really want to make this a little bit more ragged around the edges, and it just, it just didn't fly very well up there. So, um, you know, I, well, I, I think this is going to see, you'll see a shift for me. I'm re really excited to get to a place where my music th that I create in the studio is, you know, a little bit grungier. There's a little edge to it. Well, I don't. I mean, I like the the songs that I recorded or the songs I would have been writing anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I love that people say, "Well, he sold out because he doesn't sing about Texas anymore." I'm like, man, I, I did that <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you know, in the '90s, you know, I'm just like, that's all I wrote about. So, um, you know, it's like, uh, you know, what's it? I'm certainly not Picasso or anything like that. But I mean, Picasso was a painter and a sculptor and a 
you know, he worked in all different kinds of uh, mediums, and that's really kind of where I've been in life. You know, this came out was, you know, when we started playing music, it was much more folky kind of storytelling, and then my brain kind of wanted to tell, talk about, you know, following the love and, and the family, and, you know, I don't know what's going to come out next, but... Um, it's exciting. It's, it's, really it sounds like a pretty cool journey, though. Yeah, it's a full life. You know, I, I don't really have any complaints. I, I look around, and I, my friends are my are really my friends, and I, I love the people that I've gotten to meet because of uh, because of the music and um, you know, lucky person, that's right. for sure. Well, we're looking forward to the next journey. Also, looking forward to this this uh, this documentary slash live yeah. album that you're going to do. And yeah. Congratulations on your recent number one on the Texas Music Chart, too, with what I'm for. Oh, thanks very much. Now, that's a great song. Um, I, you know, I don't put out, I think I've only put out two songs in my life that I didn't have a part in writing or wrote on, you know, on my own, and that's one I, I didn't have anything to do with writing. Uh, Alan Shamlin and uh, uh, Mark Beeson wrote that, and it's, I mean, I thought it was a smash when I heard it. Right. You know, Ingram, uh, Jack Ingram taught me a long time ago, you know, I was really nervous about recording other people's music. Um, you know, this is, God, I was still in college, and Jack, I think he maybe only had one or two records out. Um, and uh, I was like, you know, Jack, I just, I just don't know if I want to record other people's music, you know. And he goes, look, Pat, if you like a song, then you should never be afraid of recording it, you know. I mean, think about how many times, like, you know, all the really great songs like, you know, Mr. Bojangles and so forth have been recorded over and over and over. And the reason why is because everybody likes them, you know. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with doing something that's great. You know, hey, you, you know, it's peanut butter. Everybody loves peanut butter. It comes down to a song. 